Hello and welcome to Coxie's Picks and today we're looking at covers. This is the Cisco Cuff Cover. It was designed by uh, an ex-prison officer and it's very simple, it's just a piece of metal with a slit cut in. All right? Sometimes the best things are the most simple and there's the patent number just there. It's an absolutely incredible bit of kit. You take your ASP handcuff, you place it in like so. The chain drops below and then suddenly you can put in your transport chain. Now, if you have it with the bows up, it's a little bit easier, but as you can see from a transport perspective, your hands would be quite comfortable inside rather than being actually outright. Now it can go this way around or it can go this way around, depending on how the prison officer wants to um, fit it. It is a great bit of kit and what they've also done is they moved that so that it'll actually work with hinged as well. So let's get a set of hinged in there. And as you can see, the trough is visible and so that you can use it with hinged cuffs as well. So that's dual cuff usage with the Cisco cover. Now, if you're like me in the UK, it gets quite difficult to get American hardware, um, which means that some people are not able to get this cover, which is unfortunate because it is a great bit of kit. So in light of that, I went looking around on Thingiverse and I discovered this. This is somebody's homemade version right, with a 3D printer. Now, if we look at this carefully, we can see that what they've done is they've foregone the slot, right, and they've gone to make this full DIY, and they applied a pin. And the pin was designed so that a padlock would fit in instead, so you could then padlock and chain through. Sign of simple concept, uh, there is one downside I'm just going to quickly highlight now. Uh, their measurements were slightly off, and as you can see, it's quite difficult to get a padlock in there. If you're a bit clever, then you can take uh, a little bit of five minutes of CAD and you can make a longer pin like I have. And there we are. And if I can figure out how to upload it again, I'll put this on Thingiverse and link it both in the description. But I will link the model as well. So there we go. So how does it fare? Well, it doesn't work with hinged. So start. the main problem is, is that if you look at it, it's got a ridge on the bottom. All right, and that is to hold the chain. So if I get the cuffs, just like so, and then lay them over, all right, then I get the pin and I put the pin in, you can see that the hinged wouldn't fit. But that is just to provide rigidity and uh, make this a very solid piece, so that it's difficult. Now, would I recommend this for um, anything other than LARPing, role play, or escapology? No, uh, because the actual plastic itself can be snapped. Um, so this would be the configurations in. Uh, if you were to do this on stage, you could brute force that, no problems. Um, so yeah, it's it's not um, a security device per se. However, it is a great piece of fun. And if you wanted to do escapology and you were careful with it, you'd be able to recreate the Cisco plate with it, no problems. So there we are. That's my thoughts on it. I will say that you do need to make a, a new pin, or if I can figure it out and I'll load it, then you can use my pin. But there we are. So just to compare it side by side, this is the 3D printed, and this is the Cisco. And if I fold them over the both ways, so as you can see, the similarities are very, very close. So there we are. Um, I do recommend that if you can get it, get the Cisco plate. If you can't, well, that's the next best thing. So. There we are. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.